I went to a family reunion last week. I am the lightest one in my family. I couldn't believe it. They were looking at me talking about, are you mixed? <laughs> Come here, red bone, with your high yellow self. You a red bone, ain't you? What you, Creole? Are you Creole? You mixed with some Italian or something. My father's mother is Bermudian, and her father was English, white English, um, part Sephardic Jew, and, um, and then his father was English. My mother is from New Orleans, Creole, and my father is Middle Eastern. I grew up in upstate New York, a town called Monroe, which was a predominantly white, blue-collar town. My mother and my father divorced, and we moved to Los Angeles from Huntington Beach. I didn't grow up around many black people at all. There were like a handful in the whole town. I went to Dorsey High School. So I showed up in, you know, my little vans and, you know, my jeans and my little shirt, it's, you know, it's a local's rule. I had a hard time fitting in to both. I had a cousin that lived in Long Island in a black community. They would say, well, you dance like a white girl, you look like a white girl, you talk like a white girl. I remember being a kid, you know, wanting to be, you know, light-skinned because I wanted to have my hair long and wavy. And so after I get out of the shower, I would put a towel on my head. My hair was like down here and I was like, you know, on my skateboard. and had my backpack, I was like, dude, what's up? I'm about ready to go, you know, hi, I'm new day of school, I'm getting ready to come to class, man. <laughs> Gnarly. And the security guard, which I didn't even know that high schools had security guards, told me to sit down, don't move, before I got hurt. And that's when I got that whole thing about, well, you know, I must think, you know, because I'm light, I must think I'm better than them. In school, I noticed the light-skinned boys and girls got treated. Um, like they were more important. It was so prevalent that it felt normal. I do think that uh, the darker skinned brothers, uh, brothers my complexion and darker, have a much harder road, you know? It's, 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 it's not easy, you know? We are made to, we're made to feel as though we are the boogeyman. And you know, all the dark guys when we were young always wanted to like girls. And I would get teased because my girl was so light. I think it's been an advantage just being an attractive woman. Like when I've come into a black community, guys are interested in me. Some of the experiences have been less than pleasant in the sense that the, some of the women I've dated felt as if or gave me the impression that they felt they were uh, holier than thou. So I'm in this restaurant and I had a bandana on my head and my hair was curly. I, my hair is curly or, or straight. Um, so my hair was curly and this girl came up to me and she was like, um, excuse me, what are you mixed with? And I was just shocked that somebody would just like come up to me in a restaurant and ask me that. I got my guys out of, uh, out of, out of Puerto Rico come up and say, Puerto Rican? It's like, no, I'm not Puerto Rican. And, uh, and then I go to a little Ethiopia and they're like, ah, and they key into my dad's side of my family. Um, but everybody on the planet, just a nigga. But I've also had disadvantages of being um, light-skinned as when I tried to be an actress because and people just didn't think I was identifiably black. Because I was not Creole and I had the big nose, you know. My aunt used to walk around with a clothespin, used to put a clothespin on my nose to try to make my nose smaller. You have light-skinned people in the family. You have some that are dark. Um, I just happen to be one of few of the darkest. I think he's very intelligent, but if he did look like uh, me, he may have had a little problem. I would say that because he has uh, the white side, you know, they, they focused a lot on the pictures of his grandparents. I think people in my parents' generation certainly feel you know, more comfortable um, that he looks the way he does, that he's educated in, in the way that he's educated. Um, and that he presents himself in a very even, um, even way. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't get black on people, <laughs> you know? Being as dark as I am, I am hung like a horse. <laughs> now that's the advantage of being slave black. When you slave black, this is not really my foot. My foot was shot off in the war.
Hello, my name is Denzel Washington. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm Denzel from Washington. I'm sorry. I'm Denzel that shop at Washington Mutual.